Star Seeds and Lightworkers. My name is Caitlin and I am a spiritual medium. Today's topic that we're going to be discussing today is going to be all about, oh yes, if you do see me making any hand signs or signals, this is how I communicate to the group of beings that I um, that I work with, whom I call the guides. But um, yes, today's topic is going to be all about, um, uh, yes, the poke. Uh, um, the poke uh, uh, regarding um, a uh, current thing that's going going around, um, whom I'm going to call Carol. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so without further ado, um, if you want to follow me on any of my social medias, you can find those in the description below, along with a link my link tree to book uh, reading with me. But um, yes, if you haven't already, you can like and subscribe down below. You can leave a, little, leave a little comment down there if you have any topics that you'd like me to cover in a future video. But um, yes, uh, let's get right into it. But yes, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about was um, simply tapping into the energy of, uh, yes, of the Pope. And so, Essentially, what is happening is it's a, yes, it is um, a bit of a fear tactic, uh, um, and yes, a bit of a extreme one at that, and as such, within this fear tactic, there is a little bit of manipulation and this feeling of unsafety going on, and as such, within that, it is, uh, yes, so the energy I'm receiving from that is that it is... Uh, Yes, so this is a very, I guess, extreme energy. And as such, within that energy, while yes, it is to induce fear, uh, um, it is more on the lines of, uh, yes, uh, yes, it is more on the lines of, in a way, backfiring or will will backfire but i'm not going to get too too detailed into timelines today because timelines can change but um a yes it is currently in part backfiring uh, um within the fear towards the poke <laughs> and so um yeah so yes there was a um an individual uh who recently discussed a plan for this poke, but um, yes, within that, there is uh, what in a way wants, what in a way the, um, yes, the uh, dark agenda towards control. The dark agenda, okay. Um, I made a video on this, but I can link it down below, but uh, just short, um, the dark agenda is in a way, um, Yes, the darker energies and darker entities utilizing uh, the system of the matrix uh, um, to, in a way, foster control upon us because, um, yes, the reptilians' contract towards this planet is almost up, and as such, within that, they, um, a bit of a, a last, a bit of an effort to, um, yes, yeah, sustain that. But, um, yes, anyway, I do have a video on that, but, um, I'll link that down below. But, um, yes, anyway. So there is a bit of a divide that wants to occur, that they want to, in a way, ensue. And so this divide is, in a way, um, yes, so poked versus non-poked. Uh, um, in a way, a battle of the sovereignty to an extent uh, um, by creating these fear tactics. It is, in a way, trying to sway you to get, um, yes, to rid yourself of your sovereignty, but you are a sovereign being. And you have sovereignty, you have the ability to choose and choose which reality, which um, direction you want to uh, go and what, in a way, consciousness you want to hold. But, um, yes, anyway. Uh, um, so, in addition, this idea of... Uh, um, 
covering the face versus not covering the face in addition. But um, yes, so in a way what is attempt, being attempted to happen is uh, um, a bit of a divide between uh, the peoples, if that makes sense. But yes, yeah, so within holding fear towards these things, within holding fear towards uh, um, the poke, it in a way does feed that paradigm. And as such, um, the more fear you hold towards something, the more emphasis that is being placed upon that one thing. It, because there is so much emphasis placed there. And regardless if it's, uh, uh, I don't want this to happen. You don't want this to happen. This is in the statement. But um, yes, holding fear towards something in a way brings it more towards the timeline, if that makes sense. But yes, in full, this grand scheme of things is in a way to divide. And as such, within that, it is in its own way backfiring. And so within that, it is... Yes, so it is a bit of elastic effort, but in a way it is, in the way that it is backfiring, it is creating a bit of a mass awakening because it is, um, yes, really stripping that sovereignty, really uh, um, attempting to uh, uh, control individuals when, yes, in a way you are a sovereign being. And so, um, yes, in a way backfiring to uh, uh, this idea of a mass awakening, if that makes sense. So regarding this, yes, regarding this poke, um, there are two things that I do want to note here, and it is this idea that you, in a way, can transmute anything that you come across within your body, and as such, what that entirely means is, uh, um, to an extent within receiving this, you can, in a way, of your body can only really transmute it with intention, so long as you are creating that intention there without fear. But at the same time, in addition to this, yes, but at the same time, there is this idea of sovereignty. That, and in a way, really being real with yourself as to whether or not you truly want to entirely go through with this. And so, within expressing your sovereignty, it is in a way beneficial to ask yourself, are you expressing your sovereignty for yourself within making the decisions that you feel that you can in a way make for your own body, for your own for yourself, or are you doing things for other individuals? And so within that, within this idea of transmuting, having fear towards other individuals, in a way that brings that closer to you. And as such, within that, within getting, in a way, getting this poke, receiving this poke, um, it is making the decision to either receive or not receive it. Being real with yourself as to where this energy is coming from, where your decision is coming from, where it is stemming from. Yes. But yes, so within this poke, within this um, thing being placed within this arm, Yes. So, at the same time, within the exit points, within that, within the exit points, within the entirety of what we have experienced over the past, what, uh, I believe year and a half, over a year, but, um, yes, so within the exit points that were taken in a way i do want to note this idea of uh, choosing your exit points so within this idea of uh, receiving this poke within that uh, um In part, it can, 
it is in a way being used to control the individuals within it. And as such, within that, at the same time, it uh, um, can be used as a bit of an exit point. But again, that is within the soul's contract. Uh, um, Yes, so I do want to note that exit points are within the soul contract and the exit points experience at all within what we have experienced, uh, um, those are in a way within the soul's contracts. And as such, that is in a way how the vessels, uh, in a way, in part, yes, choose to exit, to in a way teach through that, if that makes sense. So within this idea of the Pope, it is beneficial to, yes, look within yourself and really look at your reasoning behind your decision, regardless of what your decision is. Because as such, it would, uh, yes, um, it allows you to learn about yourself and your decisions and really dive in deep as to why you make the decisions you choose to hold, if that makes sense. But yes, as in a way, um, this attempt of, uh, <laughs> this attempt of, um, in a way, stripping this sovereignty. It is beneficial uh, um, to, in a way, look at where you are placing your thought forms. If you are holding fear towards something, or if, uh, um, yes, or if you, in a way, might be a little bit fearful within the now moment. Uh, um, yes, so holding fear towards something, in a way, fuels it. So if there's, if you are holding fear towards a carol, uh, um, the thing that has been happening, um, happening for uh, uh, ha the well over a year, uh, um, if you are holding fear towards carol, and in a way the poke, the poke for carol, <laughs> in a way that is bringing that closer to your timeline. And as such within that, it is bringing it more within your reality. And within that, it brings it more into your life. Now, within fear, focusing so much on this one thing, I'm scared of this one thing, you're highlighting that one thing. <laughs> And in a way, within, yes, that is my dog within the background. But, um, but is it, no, are we good? Okay, yes. But, um, yes, so it in a way brings that, that one thing closer into your life. It brings it more relevant into your life. And as such, you will see more of it by placing all of your attention on that one thing because you are in a way manifesting it into your reality. And so, yes. So a final note here is release all fear thought forms and trust that everything is happening in the way that it is supposed to. It is all happening in the way that it is supposed to. And even so, it is something that in, in some way, shape or form, we came to this earth plane to experience. And while yes, it might seem dense, All of this density is being brought up so that it can be released. And so regardless of 
yes, regardless of how you feel about this poke, about peril, look at where you are placing your intention. Look at where you're place, you are placing your attention <laughs> and really dive in deep there. Yes, really dive in deep there. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but, yes, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Um, yes, here we are good. Yes, um, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I hope it helped. <laughs> but, um, yes, if you haven't already, you can like and subscribe down below. You can even hit that little bell icon. Uh, um, so you can get notified when I make videos. But, um, yes, so you can also comment any questions that you might have down below. And you can also find my social media down in the description below. And you can also find the link to book a reading with me down in the description below as well. But, um, yes, with that, uh, but yes, with that, um, yeah, goodbye!